The stakes today, laddies. They're sky high, set all the way, maybe even beyond the moon. Whatever's past that, I don't know, but they're high. We're gonna kick today's build off with some spruce staircases. I'm trying to figure out, like, how I line it up. I, I think that's gonna be good and save a quite a bit of good distance in between the build and everything else in the base. After that, I was thinking a big, grand staircase. Then, you know me, in a Minecraft to build, there are a couple different things that give me feeling some kind of certain way. We got circles, we got domes, we got arches, and no, oh, we've got pillars. In the last episode, when we started to talk about our big storage building plans, I kind of on a whim threw out some pillars, and it ended up working out to be five spaces of three. That was just a mock-up build, but I really liked the sizing and the feel of it, so why don't we start there? Well, actually, <laughs> why don't we backtrack and start here? How you doing, everybody? It's me, Waddles, and welcome to the Minecraft Guide. In today's episode, part two of Storage Building Saga, we will be constructing our Grand Masterpiece. It needs a name, I'll come up with that part later. But long story short, it's our beautiful storage build. Throughout the duration of today's episode, while we work things out together and try and figure it out, we'll talk tips and tricks for building large-scale builds like this one right here. So not to make it all about me, but I feel like I've hit my building, like stride, if you will, inside of this world. I feel like I'm doing really good with the builds that we built in this world, like the factory, the lava farm, every single one of them, I'm so happy with it. Throughout this world, there's kind of been a consistent theme. We have beautiful tower, a hidden, shy, beautiful tower back there too. Uh, beautiful days, no, oh, maybe not so much, but this is a beautiful tower, and that thing over there, that's definitely a beautiful tower as well. Look. You know, what I'm saying here is the beautiful towers. It's, it's something that has captured my heart lately. Another thing that seems to have captured my heart in some type of way lately is color. Sweet, beautiful, dear color. You see, ever since I was younger in middle school, watching people like Ito, Izuma, Green do beautiful builds, I've, ever since I was younger, I dreamed of being that builder that is able to like work with color on their Minecraft builds. Because after all, like the natural blocks of Minecraft, you know, things like wood, things like cobblestone, yeah, they've never exactly been like the most colorful thing in Minecraft. Maybe it's changing now it is, but either way, I've always wanted to be that builder that could work color into a build in a bold yet yet subtle yet beautiful yet like um delicate way that's a good word for a delicate so I feel like maybe, what if I was able to incorporate, say, a stripe of yellow paint? It's bold, it's provocative, but it's also a little bit subtle. A stripe of yellow paint on either side of the build on some beautiful towers. And just speaking of beautiful towers, oh, that's only the beginning. Next up, I want the build to feel tall and grained. If you couldn't tell, maybe I didn't say it yet. We got a staircase, we walk up, and then what I was thinking is maybe like a big, long side porch. On the storage Coliseum that I built in Minecraft Survival, the only season of it I really liked on the side of the build I had like kind of like a bunch of things sitting out like knickknacks collections for my adventure on this build I mean maybe I could add a small porch I was thinking and almost pull off something similar and maybe one day I add like mob head data pack to the world do something cool with that and I don't know I could spice it up and decorate it for today's build, before the episode, like I said in the last one, I kind of went all over the place to collect up things, and then I've been smelting up so much stone at this little, like, makeshift operation over here. Speaking of makeshift operation, I mean, everything kind of works out. It's kind of funny. I felt so bad for not doing this storage building sooner inside of this world, but at the same time, because we're taking on this project right now, after we took on, like, the big dig and everything like that, we can scale it up and make it nice and big. I guess what I'm saying here with that one is take your time inside of your world. Don't feel pressure to build your big grand storage opus like right away. Concrete. I feel like a really cool way that you could incorporate color into your build if you want to. But maybe in like a more subtle way is using concrete. But maybe not like the hardened version of concrete that's a solid flat color. Instead, maybe the softened version of concrete. I figured underneath this a porch, if you will, we would use a little bit of blackstone. Blackstone is a great block to place in where you want to have a little bit of texture, but you want to make something feel like deep and dark. By using a dark block like that, when at a distance, it'll almost look like there's more to the porch, but it's just too dark to see. Haha, <laughs> it's back to the color, baby. So we got this yellow stripe going on on the tower right there. I could do the yellow stripe like even somehow, figure out how to make it like line up perfectly, but instead, I think maybe design-wise, it would look a little bit better to have more yellow stripe, because yellow stripe is yes, but maybe more yellow stripe is offset a little bit. 
Then what I was thinking is we're coming into like the grand door for this build. Maybe I offset it again and maybe like pop it in. After all, you know what the builders say? Depth, detail, design, you know all those D words like that? Yeah, maybe we have a yellow door offset popping in three wide and then like a big arch around it and even more yellow. After that, a little bit more spruce and then we can kind of cap off the porch with like... Maybe a couple more staircases like that. Considering the fact that we're going to see down, maybe swap those out for yellow. And we call that golden. Calcite. Oh, it's a beautiful building block. You know, ever since calcite was added back in Minecraft 1.17, I feel like you could probably actually go back and find like the old snapshot videos of me reacting to this stuff in real time and probably just being in awe of this stuff. But ever since it was added, I've loved the calcite block. Ever since we did our big amethyst farm a long time ago, I knew that the calcite block was what I was going to need to have on this build. On this side of the build, that we're going to kind of call the front, but it's also technically like this side of the build. I was thinking a big grand calcite wall with fancy windows in here too. Maybe moving towards the window, we could have a smaller window like that for a little bit of variation. And then moving out, we could have a little bit of a grander window. Not to get a too technically so soon in a video, but if you think about a Minecraft build in a maybe slightly different way, thinking about it in terms of where your eyes are directed towards, if we do big windows on the side going towards the middle, naturally your eyes are going to kind of want to move over towards the middle to kind of like see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? White concrete to powder. On that note, let's talk about the towers. Towers in Minecraft, oh, they can be tricky, but not for me. I feel like I've got this thing down to an art. On this build, I envisioned some towers, and to make these towers look a little bit better than just like a, say a stone brick tower, plain old, plain old, what I want to do is mix in a block that is similar in tone and maybe even similar in texture, but not identical. Long story short here, when working on any kind of stone brick based tower or heck any stone brick based build in general, instead of mixing in the stone brick variations, which definitely don't get me wrong, definitely great idea, but instead of that, maybe try mixing in plain old stone. Instead of mixing in just more different types of stone bricks, say even mossy ones, which no shade or hate to them, definitely some moss gonna come in on this build today, but by mixing in a different block entirely, it makes your build naturally look a little bit more interesting. Now, the symmetry, symmetry, symmetry. For today's build, what we do on one side of the build, we're gonna flip it over, and then they carry all of the patterns out even more. What we do in one corner of the build, we will probably end up doing in the other corner. That's gonna mean dark oak wood. So far on today's build, I mean, we do have a little bit of wood down there, but we don't have too much wood going on. I like the idea of mixing the wood tone into the build to maybe like warm it up a little bit. After all, the gray tones, they're like very, very cold and yeah, it's just like cold feeling. And the calcite is definitely not helping it at all. Oh, oh. Calcite not helping it at all. I want a tall tower, but I don't want that tall tower to be too like hey, the samey the entire way up. To break it up, to make it look a little bit more interesting to look at, and of course, to add a little bit of depth to the build too, we'll do a dark oak stripe popping out, then we'll start the next segment. Basically exactly the same. So, so far so good, in my opinion it's looking pretty nice, but you know what's even better than two sections of giant tower? Aha, yes, yes that's right, three sections of giant tower. <laughs> Look guys, I don't know what it is with like me and the number three, but the number three is just a great number. I feel like not only in real life, like it's a nice shape looking, it's like a good amount of things, you know, whatever. Three is a good number, but <laughs> but maybe there's like math behind it or something that somebody like far smarter than me would know, but like, I don't know. I feel like anytime I operate in a Minecraft build and work in odds or in like threes or whatever, the build ends up looking really, really nice. I mean, I guess really take that one with a grain of salt, but three sections of three check done and three sections of three check done. We're the tallest in the land. Look at this thing. The view from up here. I'm going to need like a, a sky access or something like that. Such an amazing view is one of my favorite parts of doing a build is like looking around and seeing how the landscape changes slowly as I do it. However, problem. So on our build so far, it's very tall, really grand. I like it. The middle part, we're going to finish it up more in a little bit, but the middle part is looking so plain and low. This is where my segue with a white concrete comes in. 
And in my opinion, maybe the best block to detail with calcite and preserve the tone of calcite, so like, not muddy it up with disgusting diorite or something like that, it's gonna be white concrete powder. If I come in here, then every once in a while, just a little bit, mix in some white concrete powder. Well, by mixing in white concrete powder until they actually just do it and add calcite bricks. Come on, I know they exist somewhere behind the scenes. Calcite bricks, please. Uh, hey, until they just go ahead and do that, a little bit of calcite in here, <clears throat> powder. A little bit of powder in here, just a tiny, tiny bit of it. It'll help break this up and I think make it look even better. So I'll get that in at some point. Top of the tower, top of the tower. There's only one set of blocks that I think I could use at the top of the tower. So when setting out on today's build and kind of doing a little bit of planning work in between episodes, thinking about the blocks that I want to use, since the last time we built like a, a proper good storage build, well, no, correction. I guess I should say since Guide Season 3, when we built the first storage cathedral, Deep Slate has been added to the game. I was so tempted to use a ton of deep slate all over today's build because I love the block, but I didn't really want today's build to feel like dark and ominous. Instead, I wanted a little bit of like a lighter, nicer, happier feel to the build. I mean, this to me, I, how could I just not use deep slate at all? I need to use some, right? A couple episodes ago when we were building that tower, I ran a little bit of an experiment with tower shaping and everything like that. With that experiment in mind, I think I've got it down. Up at the top of this tower, we're going to use a little bit of spruce wood that'll match the lower part of the build, and we're going to make a buried pattern. We're going to do strip, no, concrete. Using fully solid blocks the entire way up with a combination of stripped spruce logs and spruce planks, I think we could build one of, oh, that scared me so much. Simple combinations, small yet beautiful. We go all the way up to the top of the tower and then we keep going up to the top of the tower. Not the very top of this thing, you know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to come back in and add like a proper spike or something to it, but for now, let's just go ahead and do the raw block shape and then details. We'll come back around a little bit later on and get them all over this entire build. Symmetry is all an exercise in symmetry. This is so tall. I didn't realize how tall this was gonna make this build, but symmetrically, beautifully, either side of the build so far already, and there's so much left to do either side of the build. Two giant skyscraping towers. And that's not even the end of it. We'll double it up on the back side of the build with even more tall towers too. Oh, <laughs> already it's looking so good, but let's get that middle in. Oh, this is so cool. So I um, kind of hinted at it a little bit earlier on, but there are a couple things on every single build that I like to have. And one of those things is a beautiful arch. Imagine this, we have this part of the build go up a little bit higher. Maybe like, I don't know, we'll, I want a grand. We'll, we'll have it go up a little bit more, maybe something like that. Then we could go ahead and have a big arch curve over the front of the build. Maybe even on the top of these pillars to make it look a little bit more interesting, we could have like a staircase cut in as well. I love me a good arch. I feel like they're good and beautiful, but maybe these middle arches too, they could like actually curve up. So it's almost like the whole build itself arches up too. And thinking about the movement to the build, I feel like that might look kind of cool. Like shorter arch and then a little bit taller and then really tall. Maybe even I could do it like scale each one of them. So that one gets a little bit taller and that one gets a little bit taller too. That might look good. One of my favorite parts about working on these builds and like detailing them is of course like just uh, straight up like working on the build and detailing it. I love it. It's one of my favorite things in Minecraft, especially nowadays where I feel like I've like become a better builder. I kind of know a little bit of tips and tricks and stuff like that. That's definitely going to help. But but I just love getting to build these builds and take a step back. An idea comes to mind. It's like a light bulb that lights up and then like you step back and all of a sudden it looks even better than it probably would have looked before. Big arches arching up. Oh, it's a giant arch. The whole build is just a giant arch. Ah, you bonzo. I'm so happy. Now, next up, when I was trying to plan today's build, I knew that I wanted to have a different type of gray block come into the build, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to do like a deep slate. It's too dark. And even played old basalt. It's a little bit on the darker side. However, this basalt right there, almost identical in tone to stone, in the middle at least, that might look pretty good. So here's what I was thinking. First things first, of course, to finish up the arches, we come in with a little bit of stone bricks. Then it may be right behind that, going like, uh, what is that, horizontally. Going horizontally along with the ground, we do a long strip of maybe polished basalt. However, it's the gray tones. Considering the fact that we did a lot of wood tones over there, there's no wood tones on this side of the build. 
Maybe what I could do is take some wood and pop it off of the side of the building, adding more depth and detail, but also making sure the towers feel like they're like, you know, actually part of this build and not just like, I don't know, connected to it or something. Add it on after. However, taking a step back, I'm realizing that the wood logs are lining up perfectly with that spot right there, and I don't think I like it. Instead, what I think I want to do is maybe add one block to every single section right there, bump it up more, then the wood logs won't be even with those. I think having those things sit evenly, it maybe like gives it an L a little bit. Yeah, definitely. That definitely looks a whole lot better. The logs don't all line up perfectly. It's kind of like the whole stripe situation that we have going on, but a little bit higher up that's good. None next, so be here, yada yada yada. A controversial choice for the build, sure, it might be, it very well might be bamboo. One might say it doesn't even fit in, it doesn't make any sense, what is he doing? You see, we got yellow on the lower part of the build, you can't really see it. Okay, you can't really see it right now, but imagine it, we got yellow on the lower part of the build. Just think about it, bring the yellow up to the top part of the build, a little bit higher up, ooh, that could look really good. And then, after that, I think it might actually finally be time for a little bit more wall again. We'll make this wall go higher up, but let's line up, let's see. We're gonna have a window right there, which means maybe that could go like we fill that in and fill that in And then we're gonna have like a middle spot right there So I want to have like another window right there, you know fill it in like that Uh-huh, uh-huh figure out the pattern, you know something kind of like that However concrete this is where it all comes in again I need to actually this time be better about mixing in concrete okay, not that I'm running out of calcite because I'm not and I'm not gonna run out anytime soon I have a lot but I could preserve a whole lot of calcite by mixing in more of this stuff than ever before. And when it comes to access for the towers, what I was thinking is maybe because of kind of how I because of how I set up the towers, maybe what I could do is in the future adjust it a little bit and have a door on the outside of the porch or something. Like I step up and walk right into the tower, then I can go all the way up to the top. After all, I've got windows. We're gonna come back in and detail the whole build after. But first up, calcite. Next up is time. So far on today's build, we've really only been worrying about getting like, not so much the details in, but details at the same time, but mainly like the shape of the build. Usually when building a big build like this, I highly recommend that you come back in and get the finer details after you get the build in, because of course, first things first, we gotta figure out what the build actually looks like. However, now that we're starting to get what I would call a pretty good feel for the build and I kind of know what I want this thing to end up looking like, I think it's finally time we come in here with a couple details. For the details over here, what I was thinking is a little bit of cobblestone and mossy will go up to above the window. Then what I'll do is I'll do a staircase. We'll do a slab. We'll do another slab, something like that. Then we'll do another staircase and maybe one more slab. I jump down and that's going to line us up perfectly with this middle spot right here. Then all I need to do is do it all again maybe even better in the middle just like we did lower down to make the stuff curve up and in we'll do like even more staircases something like that so look i'm i'm a torn and conflicted man i uh, you know my history with mossy cobblestone i love the block it's beautiful and mossy stone bricks in general like all of the moss blocks they're great however i kind of don't know what to do with this build like do i really want to have a moss all over the build I like this stuff, I, I really do, and this is coming from a guy that doesn't have a vine farm. Vine farm or not, I don't care. I will find a way to get the moss if I really want to, but I just can't decide. Now basically, final thing that I want to put on this part of the build for now, until we come back in and add a whole lot more later on when it comes to details, is a couple curvy things like this. What I was thinking is maybe andesite, we haven't used that quite yet and it'll match with everything. Then in between those things, maybe what I could do is I could come in with a little bit more andesite and have it curve up and curve out. Then this time, maybe solid andesite block, something like that. That could look really nice. Then I was thinking in between these small arches, we basically do the same thing, except this time we curve up a little bit higher and we do solid andesite block. Skyfolding, it's so sad, but you're in the way. I was gonna leave you till the end of the build, but you're just in the way. Ah oh, man. My eyes, they well up, they tingle in a funny way for our build today. It's still in its mere infancy when it comes to the actual final product, but the build today has come so far. We've got a tall, strong wall, two tall towers. All that's really left is a middle, the proper roof, the cap of the build, the crown. <laughs> and I've got an idea. I definitely don't do it every time, but for today's build, I went into this thing with quite a solid plan. I kind of have like a decent vision as to what I wanted to do with this build. For the roof of this build, we've got to make sure this roof gets tall enough that it matches the build, but not like overly tall and dominating that it like almost doesn't make sense on the build. 
I figured we would kick everything off with a solid line of cobblestone, going from one end all the way to the other end. We're gonna come back in on this thing a little bit later on and put even more details you gotta watch to the end. <laughs> yeah, anyways, then we're gonna come in here with some calcite and a little bit of beautiful deep slate. With the calcite, what I figured I would do is I would take this thing up and almost make these like middle roof dividing sections. Eight or so blocks compared to what we've done with the rest of the build, the scale that we have going on, I feel like that'll make sense. Then what I wanna do is have these calcite dividers pop up in the build in a couple different spots. So for our calcite sections of eight, that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be pretty tall. And then to fill it in in the middle in here, what I was thinking plain and simple is just a little bit of deep slate blocks. It'll tie into that side of the roof. And then, oh, oh, a trick that I've never done before, but I've always seen done, a little bit of blackstone as well. Up close, it's gonna look harsh and a little bit shocking. However, from a distance, the colors, the tones, they kind of blur together and end up looking really, really good. I think, no, 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 I know. A random combination of these two blocks that I'm doing kind of like I'm doing right here. From a distance, this single looks beautiful. And so, at this point in the build today, so far, things have been going really, really smooth for me, but definitely, no doubt about it, this has been the longest build of the entire world so far. Like, I'm a couple hours into building this thing. Well, kind of an end in sight at this point. Not really, but kind of. I'm like halfway done almost, but yeah, <laughs> this is a big build. It's a very big build that is going to take quite a bit more time. Either way, though, this side of the build, this whole face, and halfway up the roof is just about done. At this point, I think all that I need to do is... Well, just about everything. That all amounts to 3, 2, 1, bones them. Take it away. It's time lapse on. A mere couple of hours of building later and we're back. Oh, baby, we are so back. The build. I'm so happy with how it's coming along. Up at the top of the towers, I had to come back in with a little bit of mud bricks and spruce fences. You know, I'm going for that dramatic spike into the sky, stabbing the clouds and like it. Then on the tower, we've got, well, exactly what we had before. Mine is back there, but oh, in the middle, gigantic, wonderful, basalt stained glass window. I told you, today's build was going to be a very big build, and yay, it's a big build. In order to be able to fit it all into the episode, I had to do quite a bit of grinding off camera, but check this out. The basalt, the polish, it pairs so nicely with the cobblestone, the stone, and the stone bricks, of course, going up high like that. Down near the bottom, I'm a little bit unsure. I might switch that out. If you got a better idea, you, you let me know. Down here, I'm thinking about tapering this cobblestone down into like a low taper fade right into the ground. I think that'll look pretty cool. Got a big grand arch in the stained glass window. And then what I was thinking long term is over here on the inside of the building, we would maybe have like a like a window. I could almost fly in or something like that. I think that could be cool. I might do something similar up there too in the back. Once we have the inside in, I was thinking a second story. And yeah, a big giant window over there too. That could be pretty cool. <laughs> Bonzo asked my thought process while building this build. Oh, that's a wonderful question. My thought process was one step at a time, block by block, just take it slow. I was taking it so slow and trying to double, triple, quadruple check my measurements. And then I, uh, I found out that I built that tower literally one block off. It was one block in too far. So I had to tear it all down and rebuild it one block over. Oh, it was painful. But that was the only mistake I made. Over here, you can kind of see my low taper fade on the back of the build. Left a temporary door so we can like, you know, keep a building on the build and detailing. But speaking of detailing, whew, 
I had to stop myself. I was going a little too crazy. I've already begun the detailing process on the towers right there. What I wanted to do with these towers to make them feel a little bit older, but not like ruined or anything with moss all over them, is taper them out into the ground. Basically, I came in here with some random blocks you can see and just like you sprinkle them around the base. Maybe you throw some slabs in, maybe a couple staircases leading up and it kind of gives the effect that basically the tower is almost like crumbling apart to the ground. But they don't worry, don't worry. It's not like falling apart. It's just like aged. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trap doors, you keep them in mind, we'll come back to them. In this next phase of the build here, we're gonna start slapping detail after detail on the build to really make it level up. Fences, number one detailing block of all time. I mean, trap doors, they're definitely up there, but fences, oh, fences are so interesting looking. You slap these things on your build anywhere, maybe front and center, maybe off to the side. So I was thinking maybe here on these like straight shots right there with no window, we just go all fences like that. Then in the corners, we maybe go two down, make them hang down a little bit more. The more you can make like uneven levels of things on your build, kind of like what we did with the logs, with the color and everything like that, the more intrigue and interestingness you will add to your build. Maybe on this side, we'll just wrap the fences right into the wall because after all, I made this tower smash straight into this part of the build so it like almost feels maybe a little bit more solid and connected. After we do that, we jump down one layer and do it all again. Up near the top with the deep slate, I think the deep slate is powerful and strong enough, we'll just leave it alone. But down low, definitely fences to, to break it up even more. Expensive. You know, I think there's a reason why if you say the word just right, expensive kind of could rhyme with fences. And yeah, fences are so expensive. We need so many logs. So, while building today's build, if you're curious what I was doing, I was chilling. You know me, listening to more horror stories and silence in the dark. So um, yeah, that's what I was doing. And it was really delightful. I don't know what it is with me and technically following the laws of old Wendigos. The more that I talk about them, the more that they get summoned. So maybe I, if I stop uploading maybe like that's what happened or whatever but but yeah, yeah my favorite type of story I don't know what it is I just have this fixation with it is Wendigo stories like anything about those kind of creatures if you know about them you know they're like kind of terrifying and kind of just like oh man I hope I don't hear that in the middle of the night because golly that'd be bad so you know how it goes in today's build when we do it on one side we do it on the other side already with a couple fences slapped on the towers that they look much more majestic but speaking of trap doors, speaking of trap doors and bills, this iron farm, the beauty over here, this baby has been running the entire time. Obviously, I've been working on today's build and a lot of the other builds as well. One of my favorite ways to detail and spice up a build is the anvil. It's a very interesting looking block. I like the model, the shape of it and the tone of this thing. Very unique. Over here, carefully, on the side of the build with the windows, what I wanted to do below the windows to maybe make it almost look like you have like a holder for something. And who knows, maybe that thing could be occasionally like a lantern or something. We'll do a trap door, then we'll do an anvil sitting on top of it, and then a lantern. Other times, and I hate to say this, it's embarrassing, but, but other times what I will do on the build is maybe the occasional pot as well with like an azalea inside of it. That's my favorite one. However... I don't think I have enough clay nor bricks to be able to do that, so we'll come back for that later. So I haven't told Kitten. <laughs> Where did you come from, man? That reminds me, I really gotta shut that breeder off. But anyways, haven't even taken an official look yet, but yeah, yeah, sure enough, I can guarantee with a couple anvils and trap doors breaking that up even more, yeah, that looks even better. I feel like I could maybe put one up there and one up there too. Hmm, let's see, maybe on these ones, let's get it like smack dab centered, something like that. And then let's go with the lantern combination again. It's kind of funny, lanterns and anvils and a lot of the things you make out of iron, like it always confuses me, that coloration, where does it come from? That doesn't even match iron blocks, what? Another cool thing for a build is campfires. They're so interesting. See, when it comes to detailing a build and kind of try to like wrap it up and make sure it looks really, really good, you want to think about the blocks inside of Minecraft that are maybe a little bit less traditional looking. You know, like something with a strange shape, something with like maybe an animation or something. There's a lot of animated blocks in the game nowadays that can go pretty hard on a build. By lining up a bunch of campfires right here, it's going to animate the build and add like smoke particles to it and moving fire. And then by putting it on top of an anvil, it almost makes it like a, to me, some kind of like pedestal or something. Sure, maybe up close it looks a little bit weird, but a lot of the times with detailing, it's kind of like a trust the process thing. And then you take a step back, you walk away from the build and boom, instantly, it looks way more interesting looking. The details, uh, at least some of them, 
they're kind of more for when you're looking at a build and from a distance. Now, I feel like while we're on that iron vibe, we might as well. The chains with lanterns hung from them as well. That's another beautiful way to make your build look very, very cool. What I maybe want to do here is kind of following what I did with the arches. Let's hang the lanterns at different heights, too. I think that could look pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I took a step back, and I don't really like it. Let's make all the lanterns hang at exactly the same height. Lower part of the build, next to the wall. We need to finish up. Let's do a little bit more lanterns. I love these things. Iron bars. Iron bars are such an interesting looking block. It's almost like the, the whole fence situation. I really wish we had more bars in the game. Like, come on, at the least, why did we not have copper bars in 2024? Like, copper is the building block, but yet with iron, we have some of the most unique options. How about a copper chain? How about a copper iron bar? And how about, maybe most importantly, a copper spike? Ho oh, ho. Oh. So this one's a little bit of a throwback. It's something that I really came into, I feel like, in Guide Season 3, and I love it ever since then. On the back side of the build, I've already come in and done every single one of the details I'm telling you about, so you don't even gotta worry about it. It's all nice, done, and finished. Up here on the top of the build, I was imagining some tall spikes. Spikes are an easy way to make the top of any build be a little bit less flat and a little bit more, like, kind of intense and dramatic looking. I love the idea of repeating spikes all over this thing, so then when we take a look at it from an angle, you almost get like a jungle a forest of like a million spike blocks on it So here's what I figured we would do We would do along the top in the middle right here that I finish up with slabs by the way We just do a ton of spikes straight up Maybe I come back in in the future and add more to like the middle of the build But I think for now at least today this is where we'll leave it at Coincidentally with all of these blocks placed in here I didn't even plan it but it's gonna make it match that whole thing over there like pretty much perfectly It's kind of cool then, moving a little bit lower down on the build, I want to do the same whole spike vibe thing. We're going to do andesite this time, swap it up a little bit, use different blocks, but blocks that still match, and it's beautiful. We'll make these spikes nice and tall until I ran out. Oh my god, another kitten. Oh my god, okay. All right, I don't even know where you came from, sir, but you could just stand there, whatever. Oh my. Oh my, that's a surprise. Get out of here, buddy. Where's your leader? I don't know, and I don't care. You leave my villagers alone? You have manners. On one hand, you wait by the door waiting to get in. On the other hand, you, you torment them. Stop it. And I don't even want to know what it's like downstairs. I think if we block that off, that should be good. That is the most amount of villagers I think I've ever heard in my life. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> I'll fix that later. So here's the thing, I'm on this whole blue vibe, I like it, and I think it would fit very, very nicely with the build. However, I think I want to maybe, like, darken the build a little bit. So, blue vibe, it still persists, but maybe instead of just, like, light blue, we'll do normal or, like, darker blue, if that makes sense, stained glass. This part is tricky for me. I am always so tempted to try and create, like, a pretty stained glass window with, like, a mural or something like that, but I think, at least for now, we can always come back in later on and change it once maybe I have, like, a vision, a vibe, a design that I want to do. We could change it out later, but for now, we'll just do solid blue glass. I think that'll look nice with all of the colors we've done today. Also, I uh, hate to say it, but I'm not happy with this part of the build. It feels grand, but not grand enough. I've got an idea. Hey, no way. I just realized, too. While I was on that whole spike vibe, I almost completely forgot the other spikes I wanted to add onto this side of the build. You see, up here on the front, we gotta make it feel nice and grand. That means more spikes and definitely a little bit more blue glass as well. Scaffolding, you've served me so well, but it's your time to go. All right, so hear me out. Maybe instead of having it so closed off, we make it nice and open. Three big steps up to the front of the thing. Spikes, lanterns, fires all over the place. Think that looks pretty good. Over here, up on the proper tower itself, maybe. I imagined it earlier, but maybe to like actually get into the towers in the future, we have a door right there. Then I think, yes, I could open that up and have a spiral going all the way up. Speaking of going all the way up, or windows. I think for symmetry's sake, I'll go ahead and do it on both sides, and then on the other side, I'll probably go ahead and add that same thing in, but I don't know if I'll do much with it today. And I guess I feel like maybe I should have a bar up here? Maybe not connect them to the spike. Let's pop it out. All right, now, so we've almost done it. We've almost finished the entire build today. Over inside of a different world, a flat one, I want to take a look at the glazed terracottas here because... I think I want to add a little bit of crazy design and detail onto it. We got this blue one that would kind of match the palette, but it's a little bit sad from my liking, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We got this one. That could look really, really good. I'm not too sure what the rotational, like, design is going to be, though. I think it's like a 
diamond thing if I got it right? Right? Is it like a, like a like a dime? I don't even know what this thing is. I love yellow, like, so much. And usually I probably would go with it, but we kind of already did that design before, which leaves, oh, but one winner. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of studying and figure out how to get that whole perfect circle in, but I think this could complement the entire build. A little bit of blue, which matches the glass. A little bit of white and gray, calcite and, like, stone bricks and everything. And I mean, this is literally, if my build was a block, it might be that beautiful block. So what is this? Light gray? Ha, piece of cake. So how does this work again? Oh, it's been so long. I don't think I've ever even had a light gray yet. Never had light gray terracotta in the world. We kick it off with the light gray, then I think we throw it in a furnace and make the magic happen. Now, next up, real quick, while we put some final touches on the build, right before we do this terracotta business, today's comment of the day. It's beautiful and it relates to this build exactly perfectly. Of course, while building, you might have to, like, take something down. Maybe a whole tower, very annoyingly, whatever, whatever. Well, if that is the case, LA. The LA that we collected up a couple episodes ago, I meant to have one flying around with me the whole time today, but I just, I don't know, I guess I was too excited to build or whatever. I completely forgot. But yeah, they're great for retrieving materials while building really big, potentially super tall builds. Very nice to have. All right, so I don't expect this to be easy. This might be the hardest part of today's build, but oh boy. So I got a dream, I got a vision. What I have to do here is start things off like that. No, no, start things off like that. Perfect. What I want to do is kind of like create this pattern where like we have these curves curving, right? Then maybe do I go like that? Is that it? Oh, no way. This is going to be the easiest thing in the world. Then we're going to go like that. I'm going to have these curves curving like that all the way up this wall. <laughs> Piece of cake. So these curves allegedly will all go in like that. That's pretty cool. Then I need to figure out the exact opposite way to do it on the other side. So that one goes there. And then I think, uh, thinking about how this might work, maybe I stand out here and, oh, I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. That's it. Okay, so for this side, what I want to do is I have these curves curving down the window on either side. And I'll go ahead and do that identically over there. Then, after that, after I figure out the allegedly easy part, we move over to the middle. And this one is coincidentally four blocks. That all amounts to, once I figure it out, and definitely not like that, but get that pattern in, we have a circle on that side, circle on that side, all the way up. All right, so uh, this spot is clearly wrong, and that spot is clearly wrong. Maybe what I need to do is turn that way. Oh, that's it. I think that's the answer. I need to turn that way. Aha! I turn that way, and then like that, and like that, and like that, and then like that. I'm a genius. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, it's way too easy. This is like beginner mode. Beginner easy. Minecraft, give me a more difficult, crazy pattern block to do. Come on, please, Minecraft. Give me something better. All right, one section done. Check down and good to go. All that I need to do to finish up is one final piece right there. This is a piece of cake. Oh, I figured it out. I think after all these years, I figured it out. Look at this. It's like rotational clockwise. I start like this and I place it down. Then I turn like this and it's going to be perfect. Then I go ahead and turn like this one more time and that's going to be perfect. Then I turn like that one more time and it's perfect. Huh. I'm so smart. So look, check this. I can speed build this just like this. Boom. That's a full circle. <laughs> I don't really want to get to the interior on today's build. That's kind of its whole own beast. But what I do want to do is a little bit of a spoiler on the interior of this build. Iron. It matches pretty much perfectly with those other things. And it's luxurious. It's fancy. It kind of matches the calcite too. It's like the perfect block to bring in and start bringing things in and all around. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll like bring it down off of this thing like a little bit of a ways. Then we'll have like the floor so we can walk around. And yeah, iron spikes on the back wall. Anyways, lads, laddies, lovers, thank you all so much for watching today's episode for the grand storage opus right here. The scaffolding, actually. Scaffolding. Goodbye, dear friend. You helped me so much today for the storage building. So far, not bad. Now, for our handy little build, keep a couple things in mind. that The interior is not done, and the area around it definitely isn't done either. And over the course of the next few episodes, by the time they're done, this whole build, every single detail of it will be finished. Today, inside, outside, backside, left side, it's all fully finished. 
You don't believe me? Great news. Channel members get world downloads. You check out in episode 70. Patrons get early access to every single episode. For more, tap that link in the description. A huge thank you to my patrons. Awkward Burb, The Big Tiny, Pixie Phantom, Clay S, Nick C, Arlo, aka Bobby Bobby, MinecraftMojo.com, and Steve M. Hey, please, don't judge the build too harshly yet. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.